Hey, Bible community, what's up? It's Robert Fifth, and recently I put in the community tab a question. I wanted to do an entire video on an album review based on whatever album was suggested by you and then uh, liked the most. So I put the question out there on the community board just to see if anybody actually goes to that tab and reads it. Apparently a few people do. I got a few nice suggestions, like Paul, who said I should do my favorite Kiss album. I'm going to probably do a whole uh, Kiss video eventually one of these days, so that'll definitely be a part of that. Cameron says, Let It Bleed. Would love to do that. That's like, I would put that in my top... Uh, you know, five albums of all time, probably. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Maureen wanted me to do Grand Funk Railroad Live. Just remember, if people look like you and they say they're your friend and and they give you something, don't take it, man. Don't take it. Ross wanted me to do the Downward Spiral from Nine Inch Nails, which would have brought back college memories. And I thought it was so cool in college because I was in college radio and I got to hear the Downward Spiral before it was released. So I was like on top of the world. That would have been cool. Uh, Juan and I just say says uh, I should do a Gretchen uh, Van uh, Fleet album, which would be interesting because I haven't heard them since they were being, you know, basically accused of blatantly ripping off the Led Zeppelin sound. So I would want to see if they've, you know, kind of uh, come up with their own thing, if they've evolved since then. John says Led Zeppelin 4 is turning 50. That would be a great uh, video to kind of spotlight. And then Bruno suggested Kate Bush The Dreaming, which would have been perfect. Because that's an album I just literally discovered like a year ago, and it was because of the vinyl community. I never really got into Kate Bush. I heard the wrong things from her, like the red shoes and stuff like that. I never really... So then I heard the dreaming, I was blown away. And I never heard of that until a year ago, and then the reason was about vinyl community. So that would have been a great one. Uh, Joseph wanted me to do Remy Zero. Uh, Keith wanted me to do King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Uh, well, actually, he said specifically the uh, Infinity album, but uh, it's like they have so many. It's like being lost in the field. And then Tuco Tuco comes in with his suggestion that, of course, everybody likes Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass whipped cream and other delights. So that's the review. You asked for it and you liked it. You wanted it. Here's my review of Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass uh, whipped cream and other delights. You know, this album was released in 1965. It stayed at number one for like ever, won all kinds of Grammys. Did you know that Herb Albert, though, played all the horns? There is really no Tijuana Brass on this. The 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 uh, the backing band is the Wrecking Crew, you know, the movie with the documentary. Uh, played on all those great 60s songs. They play on here, too. Hal Blaine, Carol Kane, um, Leon Russell plays on this. Um, no vocals, all instrumentals, you probably know that. Famous for its cover, you know, the woman in the... Uh, the whipped cream there. She has a name. It's Dolores Erickson. This is what was chosen for me to review. I've listened to it like, I don't know, like 12 times. I've got not only this album, uh, this release, but I've also got the mono version and I have the uh, Capitol Records mail order version with the paste over front. So I've actually got kind of a rare uh, Herb Albert Tijuana Brass. Uh, whipped cream and other delights. As far as the music on here, song titles all like, you know, lollipops and uh, peanuts and uh, honey, obviously, and whipped cream and love potions. It's all about food and drink. It probably should be mentioned that the lead track off the album is a cover of A Taste of Honey, which is also the second worst cover by the Beatles. Oh, come on. Nobody ever shows the early Beatles, though. This is the album that seems to be everywhere. Like, it's at every... Every dollar bin, it's in every garage sale, every car park has this. And I've always wondered, like, I even mentioned this in another video, like, what would make somebody go into a record store in 1965? They see the Beatles, they see, you know, or, you know, whoever, whoever was big in 65, you know, all the garage bands, all the, you know, the, the up and coming, the Motown, all that stuff, uh, soul music, the, the, uh, Stax Volts, it goes on and on, obviously. They, they look over all that and they go, oh my God, I want some whipped cream from... I want an instrumental album. Now, obviously, it's the uh, cover. A lot of people love that cover, but I have other theories, and and those are coming up. Now, when I was asked to do this uh, video, I uh, or this review, I looked and seen if there were any other reviews on uh, YouTube, and there are three others that I found. I did not watch those, so if I repeat some things that other people have said in their videos, you know, that's it's, it's information. I'm sure everybody's mentioned all of the array of uh, parody covers. Special props, though, to Soul Asylum, because um, they uh, are the only parody cover that's actually on A&M Records. By the way, A&M Records, of course, Herb Albert is the A, Jerry Moss producer, the M, and there you have <laughs> why we have so many Herb Albert albums. But why do I have so many? I've literally never 
consciously purchased a Herb Albert album before in my life, and yet I have all of these. Yeah, I have to do a cutaway video because, you know, I obviously can't be touching my hands when they're full of mm, delicious whipped cream. And you thought it was Barbersol. Uh, yeah, no, whipped cream. You're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> uh, anyway, and Rose. The Rose was actually the uh, hardest thing to find. Um, but yeah, I listened to it like 12 times. It's basically what I thought it was. It's a lot of instrumentals. Very, uh, you know, it's it's it, the word caper comes to mind. This is the kind of music, um, if you're not familiar, it, it sounds like, you know, the kind of thing that would be in an old 60s movie or early 70s movie where there's a caper going on. And they're, you know, this is the part where they're all racing through and getting all their stuff ready and for the big caper that's about to happen. In fact, here's a fun little experiment you can do at home. Put just about any song from this album on and then walk from one end of the room to the other like this. I guarantee you it'll work with just about every song on this album. A lot of fun stuff. It'll put a smile on your face, definitely. It's hard to be uh, depressed and, and listen to this and stay like, you know, the same amount of depression. You'll be a little bit happier. Everything's very upbeat. Even the slower kind of songs... Uh, aren't you know deep and interest i mean they're kind of just kind of quick and and silly and over with but obviously great musicianship with the wreck wrecking crew just doesn't sound like the music is all that challenging it sounds like the stuff that i would have used as music beds and radio you know if i needed like a 60s whatever because this ended up being the definitive 60s sound and i uh i think i know why i think that this was like uh you know another word that comes to my mind when listening to this is frisky it has a very frisky sound. And I think that pretty much describes a lot of the Bachelor sex scenes in the uh, 60s. I mean, hmm, when I think about it, I wasn't alive in this in the 60s, but, um, you know, so I don't know. So, I mean, if somebody was like a swinging Bachelor and they were like, uh, you know, they were like 22 years old in 1965, they would probably be like in their late 70s now, right? So, um... I mean, if there's somebody watching and they can verify that this was definitely the sex album of 1965-66, please. Uh, if, if you're comfortable enough to ask your dad about it or your grandpa or something, I'm pretty sure this is what it was. Because after listening to it, I'm like, you know, that's why people bought this. You know, the cover, if like if you're a guy and you want to give like your, uh, you have to give another guy a present, like your boss or something like that, you'd get him this, 1966. That would be what you'd get him. And he'd keep it, it would hang around for a while, and then the wife would get rid of it in the garage. So that's, that's, that explains that. But also, I think if swing, I'm not talking about like teenagers or older married couples. I'm talking about like, uh, like the bachelor who's got the bachelor pad with the lighting and everything, got the girls always coming over, 23 years old in 1966. This was probably it. One of the things that doesn't get talked about a lot in the vinyl community is uh, record changers. And I know that. Most people, you know, middle of the road record buyers, the general public, used to listen in the 70s on record changers. I'm assuming it was that way in the 60s. And so I think that people in the 65, 66, when they would listen to this, would probably listen to it at a side at a time. Because you'd stack up LPs. You'd have your, like, Tom Jones LP. You'd have your John Gary album. Because, yeah, it's, it's real 1965. you got to have some John Gary in there. That you got on sale at Zare for 99 cents. But it's okay. She'll never know. And who could forget your copy of Sugar Lips from Al Hurt, the Honey Horn? You'd have on record changers, though. And so it would play a side at a time. You'd probably stack them up. You start off with the Tom Jones with the vocals. And then you lead into the, like, the instrumental little sexy sambas going on. And I think that's what it was all about. This album, Whipped Cream and Other Delights, has a very peeping and hiding kind of quality. And I think that's what probably Bachelor cool like sex was probably like in 1965 We're chasing each other around the room like in a merle haggard song you know they'd be, somebody jump up on the sofa and somebody peep behind the armchair and then they somebody catch somebody and they would start making love i think that's right because in my mind like most people probably learned about sex from the movies and they didn't start having those r-rated kind of realistic movies until 1968 so in 1965, 66, people were still probably relying on, I don't know, word of mouth, friends, stag films, whatever. So it was probably a lot of, you know, that 60s sex type of thing with the bras on the floor. You could tell it's 60s sex because the bras on the floor 
still have points in them. So somebody find out for me, like, is that what it was about? And then you'd have the Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass thing on here. Now, of course, that's probably why a lot of the songs on here were used for the dating game. Lollipops and uh, Roses uh, was the big one. Whipped Cream, big one. Uh, Spanish Flea was a huge song on the dating game, but that's not on this album. But same kind of, same, you know, come on. Herb Albert albums, those early ones, really kind of interchangeable, except for this is the one where you can make fun of the album cover. Uh, yeah. You know, Let It Bleed was one of the selections uh, that I should have reviewed, and I would have wondered what that video would have turned out like. Uh, but yeah, Herb Albert and the uh, the Tijuana Brass, the sound is like a, the sound is like a, it's like a burlesque, but it's a sophisticated burlesque. It's like a lot of the bump, but none of the grind. You know how the burlesque had that, nah, nah, psh, nah, psh. It doesn't have that, but it has the same kind of boom, 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 but it doesn't have that grind that the burlesque had. But this is like updated burlesque, sophisticated. You've got the Tijuana, you know, the Mexicali because the Spanish, you know, so you can feel like you're continental if you're in the United States and you're buying something. Oh, well, this is, this is, has a Spanish flair. Look at the rose on the cover. But yeah, Herb Albert, Tijuana Breast, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. You have it in your collection. You might as well just go listen to it right now. You didn't even need me to review it. You have it yourself. If you don't believe me, Look, it's there. I have never went out and purposely purchased a Herb Albert Tijuana Brass record in my life, and I've got like 12 of them. They just appear in collections. And they just, and then, then people are like, how'd this get in my collection? I'll sell it. And then it goes into a record store. I think that's how this happens. I'm convinced. So yeah, a Herb Albert Tijuana Brass, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. That is my review. Uh, like I said, I listen to the stream. I listen to the vinyl stereo. I listen to the vinyl mono. Uh, that's also in there <laughs> for some reason. I listened to the Capital Mail Order version, which, by the way, the Capital Records Mail Order version uh, does not sound as good as the uh, other two. But anyway, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. I, I certainly hope it was worth it to to dress up like this. And hey, there you go. That, there's a political statement. When you're a boy, you can do that. You can show your... When you're a boy, you can show your nipple on YouTube. Lick whipped cream off of it and everything. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please go ahead and, and subscribe. Please don't unsubscribe. I'll say that last, uh, that Discogs video. Please don't unsubscribe. Come on now. And uh, like the video and share the video if you know somebody else that would really like to know what whipped cream and other delights by Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass sounds like. By the way, this is the other record shelf behind me. You don't usually see this one. You usually see the one that's the other record shelf that's behind the jukebox. I had two. Um, but yeah, thanks again uh, for watching. I I'm hoping it was worth it.